Remembering victims of violence and honoring their families with this candlelight vigil downtown. To endure the many challenges of coping with our loss. Local families of some of those victims came together tonight as part of Victims Awareness Week to honor their loved ones at Friendship Fountain in Jacksonville. Channel 4's Tim Pulliam joining us now live. He spoke with a mother who's still grieving over her son's murder. Tim? And tonight, that mother and dozens of other family members gathered over here near Friendship Fountain to bring awareness to unsolved murders. This is how Harriet McNeil finds the strength to keep going. She's comforted by people who understand her pain of losing someone special to violence. And I see all the other families that lost a loved one. I hate it. All of us got to be brought together for this reason. But um, it let me know I'm not alone and I'm not the only one that had a loved one taken for senseless crime. Last September, McNeil says her son, Brandon Green, was shot in the head inside Mascara's Gentleman Club. The 21-year-old died instantly. He was my world. He was my baby. He was the youngest of my three kids. McNeil says every day she thinks about what happened and the impact this loss will have on Green's two-year-old daughter, Takaya. When she come over here and she look at the pictures and say, Dad, Dad, it just brought tears to my eyes. Heartbreak these families share with McNeil as they wait for answers. What will it mean to you to find out who did this to your son? It will mean the world to me. McNeil's family is suing the Gentleman's Club for the shooting. If you have any information at all that can help investigators, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers, and that number is 1-866-845-TIPS. You don't have to leave your name, and there's a cash reward for any tip that leads to an arrest. We are live tonight. Tim Pulliam, Channel 4, the local station. Tim, you just mentioned the family is suing the nightclub. Did they say why? The suit alleges that the club knew that there were people trying to get inside the club with guns and they didn't do enough to secure the facility. Tim Pulliam reporting live for us from the South Bank. Tim, thanks.